Good cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after discovering that I can actually take a decision to vassalize one of the Holy Orders. Or at least, that's what it claims. It may just end up sending a maniac in a speedo to slaughter my entire family with a chainsaw in real life. I don't think I've ever been able to vassalize a Holy Order this way. No, I'm pretty sure I've always needed to grant them a duchy and then just offer vassalization. So maybe this is unique to the Christians. Right, now the question is, which one do we go for? If I do this, they get the County of Santiago, and if I do this, they get the County of Calatrava. That makes sense. And... What? The Knights of Calatrava are in Santiago and Leon, and the Knights of Santiago are in this county. Hmm... Well, I do have a plot to get this kid assassinated going, so... Let's go for the Knights of Santiago, and then hopefully we can just do the old-fashioned way to vassalize Calatrava. Alright, YOLO. Did it work? Why is the decision still here? I thought we can only have one Holy Order vassalize at a time. What? Huh? Is this working as intended? Um... Maybe that didn't work with Santiago? Let's try Calatrava. <laughs> this could be a disaster. Okay. Same thing. I do not understand. Maybe it just needs time to uh, fix itself? Oh no, Santiago is my uh, vassal now. Weird. Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> Please sort yourself out. In the meantime, why don't we have these guys follow them there. Uh, try to do a stack wipe. And I'm gonna get my uh, commander here excommunicated so he can uh, rip him off. Oh, so in between episodes, I discovered that my sister, Hellion, actually had a daughter named Hellion, and she's a genius. So if I take her under my wing, I might be able to basically have another de facto genius daughter. And same with my nephew here. Yeah, there we go. Except he's already focused on pride. Hmm, not great, but it is what it is. And let me set Vanthus as my successor. Or both places. Sweet. And I think that's good. Alright, so... There's a massive Byzantine revolt that's going on. Um, and I think it's best that we take advantage of the situation. So we can do a Holy War for Mallorca or Sardinia. I think the smart thing to do would be to go for Sardinia. Because with Mallorca, we can form the Kingdom of Valencia. And then just press our claim for the Duchy of Mallorca. Whereas we can't do the same with, my, uh, with uh, Sardinia. Yeah, let me just see if this... Stupid Holy Order thing gets resolved after I let some time pass. So, Knights of Calatrava. Oh, okay, look at that! It did uh, work properly. And I can actually- Whoa, that's fantastic! So I've been able to uh, cheese the system and uh, get both of them to become my vassals. Fantastic. Alright, sir. Now that that's been fixed, let me go ahead and make sure that we don't end up um, killing that kid. And we'll do a Holy War for Sardinia. Fantastic. So, both the Byzantine Revolt and the Byzantine uh, Empire put together won't be able to uh, tussle with me. Because I got a shit ton of troops. Let's have you guys meet up in Provence. And we'll do the same with the boats. Thank you. Not Luca. Alright folks, gather around if you please. Mm, please pick up these dudes before you head out though. Same with you, Venice. Right, now you guys are ready to... To tussle. Mm, anything else that I need to deal with? I feel like I might be forgetting something. Oh, if you're worried about the... Um, if you want to see the tour of the rest of the world, I'll do that at the end of the episode. Uh, so we are currently getting this guy... Excommunicated. Sweet. Yeah, I think that's everything. Hopefully. I've already set this, haven't I? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, good grief. Alright, so now my nephew is under my tutelage. And my niece, please? Come on. Where's my niece? Alright, he's been excommunicated. Listen, you're a good commander, so after I do this, if you want, you can always come back to my court. Will you? He will. Fantastic. Alright, well, I'm gonna get your excommunication uh, revoked. And... Once we get that done, we'll move on to the next person to, um... 
excommunicate, of course. Wait. So they're still there, and they still have not been stack wiped. They're moving up north. We'll follow them there, of course. Get out of here, raiders. Thank you. Now, may I please get this guy excommunicated? Fantastic. Alright, welcome back to my corp, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that you are set as a proper commander. My spy master? Come on, man. I really wish that the AI wouldn't um, set my. What's it? My council members as uh, commanders. Assuming that I don't let them. Um, hmm. Maybe I should just do this then. So, will it. No, it still presents them as an option. That's pretty dumb. Hmm. Are you serious? Still no stack wipe with these assholes? Sir, thank you. Thank you for your generous donation. Sweet. And you don't need to come back to my court. Thanks. So, what exactly is this revolt for? It is to install some dude onto the throne. I see. Who is it? Do we know? Some prince or another. Hmm. Well, hopefully. Oh, it's this guy. Shit, he's old though. Damn, okay, we gotta get this war done uh, sooner rather than later. Right, troops? Gather around down here, please. And once we have about 12,000, I'd say that's a pretty good stack to, uh, to break off. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's more than 12,000. Good enough. And then we'll um, just do increments of 12,000-ish, or around there, I guess. Not in increments, but stacks of 12,000. That's more than 12,000. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. I think that should be good. Let's get you guys on boats. Thank you. And we got another big stack coming in. Sweet. Alright, instead of just waiting around, let's have you guys land. Thank you. And then the rest of you dudes can stay in the boats. Because we will need to send one stack into the mainland of um, the Byzantine Empire to fight off their troops. We want this war to be done before any uh, anyone dies or something. That's about... Hmm... 19,000, which is fairly significant, but... Hopefully we'll have enough uh, supply limit wherever we land. Okay. You've called in... A Catholic horse lord? The fuck? <laughs> I mean, obviously they do exist, but um, it's interesting to see. 20,000? Uh, might be a little hefty. So I think... Yeah, there we go. So we got the Byzantines themselves, as well as the Byzantine Revolt right next to each other. Let's see. And we can land them in Thrake, I think. And hopefully siege that down. Go for it. I actually don't. Just do it. Regularly. May I get you excommunicated? Thank you. And who's this meatiest ogre? Let's have you go with struggle. And how are you guys? Hmm. So I can't change his thingy. Despite the fact that I'm actually... Why is it that I can't set their education? Hmm. This might not work the way that I'm thinking it would. Because I was thinking that she would just be my de facto genius uh, daughter. Like another extra that we can use, but I guess not. Reginar, let's continue banging. Uh, let me get you ex imprisoned, banished, and not a special interest anymore. Sweet. I only have one good year left. One or two good years until we are completely infertile, so let's speed this up, guys. Not the war, the uh, banging and getting pregnant stuff, if at all possible. Mm, go ahead and assault those holdings. Fantastic. Do it again. No, wait. I guess the uh, time hasn't passed yet. There we go. Assault that holding. Fantastic. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's go fight their troops. Might be the best way to get that war score. Siege that down. And another couple of days before that gets seized down. Mm, you know what? Just in case, I'm gonna make sure that uh, we are staffing the 
this major stack here with the uh, proper commanders. And you can do that too. Right. Some dude is dead. Joyous day. 71%. We might be able to get this guy to just capitulate. Not yet. I guess after that uh, tussle then. Right, Regnar? Keep doing it. Keep plowing me. Non-stop. May I get you excommunicated? Fuck. Alright, fine. Then let me go ahead and upgrade some of our holdings. Um, I need to upgrade the castle walls there to be able to upgrade the castle town. Fair enough. There we go. Actually... I don't know how effective my steward is at uh, collecting or increasing the local tax modifier right now. Or how much of a difference it makes. So we could just have him overseeing the construction. Hmm. That being said, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it for now. Sure. Come on. You give up? Just give up, dude. No! What do you mean, no? Unbelievable. Oh, I'm pregnant. Fantastic. Uh, can we... Oh, no. Don't assault that holding. Pretty, uh, hefty garrison there. Yeah, we might need to just fight this guy instead. Fantastic. I kind of want your uh, rebellion to win, so I didn't want to, you know, press this issue more. But listen, if you really want to tussle that badly, then I'll give it to you. Alright, looks like there's a crusade for Saxony. <sighs> By the filthy, heretical Catholics. In a grand announcement, the fake Pope declares another fake crusade for Saxony. Wait, another crusade? What? There's never been a crusade before? What the fuck? The Christian lords gathered from all across the world to... Sorry, the fake Christian lords gathered from all across the world to bring Saxony into the fold of fake Christian kingdoms and out of infidel hands. The Saxon lands has... The Saxon lands, plural, has have long been under the rule of the barbaric uh, heathen Falkir Heralder. It is only a matter of time before he will fall under the fake Christian onslaught. God will grant remission of sin to anyone partaking in the righteous war. Deus Vault indeed. Fake Catholics. Who? Get the fuck out of my face. Uh-oh. Husband. The baby is yours. I promise. Please don't look into this more. Whoa! Holy crap, holy dude, I told you. I told you. You numb nuts. But now you've just gone and gotten yourself captured. Fantastic. Enforce those demands. Let's get you guys back on the boats. And I think you guys can stand down, yes? Uh, you know what? We'll just lower and re-raise the holy order. That's fine. And these guys too. Sweet. Alright, so let's give this away. And I believe the capital is... Cagliari. Or something. Mm, now the question is, do we want to turn this into a merchant republic? It's a very well uh, maintained city. Hmm. Maybe we can just isolate this as a uh, merchant republic kingdom. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Sure, why not? Though, a Merchant Republic Kingdom would be, I think, a somewhat troublesome vassal, but hopefully one worth the effort. Nunya, I'm sorry, our fertility is a little lower than I'd like. Miss, you can take Arborea. Mm, Ansa can take, not the actual capital itself. And no, I'm sorry, you're uh, ambitious, which is of course a big fucking no-no. Aramun? Oh, he's part of a revolt. He is automatically disqualified. Mm. Uh, no. Nuno, there we go. And last but not least, we need someone who's content for the actual duchy title. Let's see. This Nuno? Maybe. Hmm. Or this guy. Uh, well... I'm gonna go with this guy, because he's got the same, um... That's of the other Nuno guy. And that's that duchy. 
Fantastic. All right, sir. Merry Christmas and all that such. Troops, please get on the boats. My dear Empress Zeister of the Holy Roman Empire, the knights have been looking for somewhere easily defensible where we can help guide all Christian souls to the Holy Land. We think your newfound lands in Sardinia might be the perfect location and we would pay you for your troubles. Signed, Grandmaster Bernard of the Knights Hospitaller. Whoa. So you're willing to pay me almost 2,000 buckaronis for what? The duchy? Right, it's got to be the duchy because there's no other holding called uh, Sardinia. Alright. Can I vassalize you from this? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, yeah. Of course, yes, let's vassalize him. The Knights of Sardinia. The magnanimous Empress Zeister of the Holy Roman Empire has donated the island of Sardinia to the Knights of St. John, better known as the Knights Hospitaller. As one of the long-standing protectors of the faith, they will surely make sure the routes are... make the route safer for all the pilgrims seeking the Holy Land. The order is now known as the Knights of Sardinia, and Grandmaster Bernard vows to continue their mission as the righteous defenders of Christianity and its faithful followers. Fantastic! Holy shit! Nice! Got like fucking 2,000 bucks out of that. So wait... Oh, you have all of that to yourself! You greedy bitch! Well, who might have judged you, right? So I'm only one over my vast limit. Fantastic. Alright, let's get you guys over to here, and then we'll land our troops. Ah, finally I have a mission to uh, find an apprentice. Who wants to be my apprentice? Hmm, the Duke of Mercia? Hmm, he's a fairly, fairly good dude. Or we could go for the Pope. No, let's go for the Duke of Mercia. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and rank up. I believe we should go look for some ingredients. Since we're both fairly decent in, stu or in uh, learning, let's go for Herbs in the Hills. And then maybe I can brew my potion, um, my husband a potion of you, the mania, or something. Sure, I'll leave him a note. Get that love suggestion, or that loot suggestion, rather. Sweet. And I think now is the time to attack the, uh, the, uh, Abbasids. Oh. Well, that's not gonna last. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just do a holy war against them for... Portucali? Portucale? How the fuck you're supposed to pronounce that? And then hopefully, with any luck, we'll have enough piety to be able to declare a um, great conquest war. Or maybe even... wait. If I do a reconquista... Then... Hmm... Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can actually take the entire kingdom of Barayos at the same time. No, alright. Ah, that's annoying. So I'll try to aim for a great conquest then. Sure. And I've been ranked up. Fantastic. Can I... Oh. We can do that. Hmm. Except, I don't know if I really want to. Yeah. No, let's just do a holy war. And then we'll build up for a great conquest or whatever. Get it all done in one fell swoop rather than uh, multiple takes. Guess you guys landed. And... Go ahead and dismiss. Sweet. Alright. Hmm... I guess we might as well dismiss the boats again, right? No. Wait. Alright, so I am one over my vast limit. Hmm... What can I fix up in the meantime? Oh! You know what we can fix up? Is this. I'm gonna create the Duchy of Namsborg, and I'm gonna give it to him. I meant to do this sooner, and it's now Upper Brittany. Fantastic! I'm now within my vast limit. Oh, that only made a difference of about 3,000 dudes. Mmm... So, the Abbasids have approximately 10,000 more than I do. And that's assuming I raise the Domain Troops too. Well, if I do this... Alright, now things are a lot more even. Fantastic. Wait, you guys come with boats? Oh man, that's cool. Alright. Let's do it, Abbasids. I'm gonna attack you for not Barayos, but for Tequil. I'm hoping that whenever we do the Great Conquest War and then just kick them out, um, that'll be the entire Iberian Peninsula just secured. Except, 
We got this fucking issue too. Wait, who's your liege? Oh, okay, okay. So it now belongs to Africa. Oh. Alright, we should definitely do that. Holdings for Mercia, please. Nice. Glad things are working out well for us, knock on wood. Alright, dudes, let's get you gathered round. Please meet up um, there, and Venice, you're just gonna have to lower your troops this time. Our holding in Leptis Magna. Four herbal ingredients, holy shit. Very nice. Right, Husbando, sorry, what uh, herbal ingredients? Mandrake is the only one that we don't want to use in our Potion of View the Mania. But I'm a brood for you, buddy. Yarrow and Hibiscus, we'll just um, combine the two. Thank you. And... Mm, let's get all our dudes onto our boats. We might as well do it now. I brewed the potion just like the enciphered uh, recipe dictated. Emperor Yu Yuanfang gratefully accepted my help, and as soon as he drank my concoction, I could see a change in him. Now the light has returned to his eyes. Fantastic. Well, hopefully it doesn't come back to uh, bite you in the ass, but we'll see. And how long have I been, have I been pregnant for? I kind of wish I could uh, find out. And I can't do that for myself, can I? Oh, wait, I can. I can... <sighs> shoot. I should have been getting rid of my stress that way. Oops, my bad. My bad. Mm. Duke Velasco approaches you. My leash, I have a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great rule leader you are. I would require some gold in your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. Now, there's no... I think there's a lower chance of him um, building a statue for himself. Yeah... I don't really want to waste a thousand buckaronis on that, though. So we'll do that later on, when we have a bit more money. Mm, and our stuff is being upgraded, sure. Let's see. I'd say another stack of about 12,000. Should be good. Sure. Yeah, that's a good stack right there. Fantastic. And that's about 15,000. You know what, we'll just figure things out once they actually arrive in those places. Alright, looks like we have a new uh, daughter. Fantastic, since the last one was Vanthus. Uh, this one will be... Oh, let's go with a new name, actually. You will be... Adrian... Adriana... Stoika. And you are... A fucking genius. Joyous fucking day. Thank you for your support, Adrian. I appreciate it. Alright, let's get you guys landed. Uh, or, sorry, in the boats. What is this nonsense? Dag. You bastard. Can I get more boats by any chance? I can. I love it. I love finagling more boats onto my, um, thing here. Ah, uh, no. Please, stay here. Thank you. 485 uh, boats. Very nice. Uh, try to get it to about 12,000-ish. Yeah. The reason why I'm dividing these guys up into 12,000, uh, stacks of 12,000 is because... Generally, it's like the more, it's like the safest, um, I guess, uh, supply limit to, um, to expect out of uh, enemy territory. Any more than that, and you often run across the issues where it's a little bit lower or whatever, and just completely fucks you over. Mm. That's about 15,000. I guess that'll be fine. Yeah. All right, get you guys. Come on, please. There we go, there we go, sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's too big, fuck. We can only fit in 14,000, I think. Is that right? Whoa, actually, that's incredible. All right, good job, guys. Let's take uh, Mercia first, and then we'll take the rest. Oh, and when we have about five minutes left, I'll go over the uh, rest of the world and See how they're doing and all that jazz. Average Rainbow has become a Midas Touch character. Wow! I am genuinely surprised. Despite his slowness, he's also shrewd. Damn, son. Wow, good job for you. Damn. 
Uh, please take that as soon as possible. Go for it. And that should be the ticking war score. Alright, uh, let me just go through the rest of the world and see how they're doing before we end the episode. Let's see. So, to the north of us, the British Isles is mostly ruled by Catholic Anglo-Saxon England. Interesting. And they're mostly Catholic, it seems. A little bit of, um, Waldesian, uh, Irish. Some Germanic, um, dudes in Ireland, too, and a little bit of, uh, Denmark in there. And then there's a Germanic Nordic Scotland. Interesting. Uh, looks like the Scandinavian, or looks like Scandinavia is kind of doing more or less Scandinavia things. Though, I'm actually kind of surprised that Suomi has managed to grow as big as it has. That being said, since they're not of an organized religion, I'm assuming they're just going to get uh, curb stomped soon enough, right? Yeah, it's happening. It's already happening. Well, you did well. You tried at least. And in uh, Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe is doing Eastern Europe things. As in, it's a bit of a mess, but not as big of a mess as I thought it would be. There's Germanic uh, Poland, um, Slavic Hungary, and Slavic Novgorod. Yeah, usually they're just, if at, at most, like maybe have like a couple of duchies or so, but the fact that they've able, been able to uh, create a kingdom of uh, Novgorod is somewhat impressive. And then there's, of course, the Horse Lord lands, which is, of course, um, they're doing Horse Lord things, yes? Yes, they are. This isn't actually all that surprising to see. They tend to blob pretty heavily. Um, but that's... Whoa, Manichaeanism, really? Huh. Interesting. And their scripture is Evangelion. So they read the manga for uh, for their scripture. That's pretty fantastic. Um, I don't know if there's much else to really say about these dudes. They're not that interesting. The Western Protectorate, um, snaking its way across ever so slightly. Not as powerful as I thought it, they would be, at least not at this point. And Tibet is still mostly intact. Some smattering of revolts here and there. I'm always surprised that Tibet has as few troops as they do. It's a pretty sizable place, but I guess maybe the holdings aren't that um, developed? Hmm... I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, they're Buddhist and all that such. But that shouldn't really stop them from amassing more troops. And then, of course, there's India. I am very, very surprised at how well the Indian AI has managed this. This is incredible. I don't think I've ever seen um, both of the empires be formed. Of course, there's the empire of Rajasthan, which is yet to uh, pop up. I doubt it'll, it'll ever um, surface, but regardless, the fact that Rashtakutra and... Sorry, Rashtrakuta. I always say Rashtakutra. <laughs> um, the fact that Rashtrakuta and um, the Bengal Empire have been able to form is definitely impressive. And then there's the Abbasids. Blobbing hard. Indeed. But hopefully once we kick them out of here, um, they won't be a big problem for us anymore. At least not until we get the um, crusade for Jerusalem start and all that such. And then there's the uh, African realms. I'm really hoping that we can see the African religion um, get reformed. I often see... What? You fucking sellout! I can't believe you've done this. Why? Uh, there's no iconoclasm anywhere near you, numb nuts. What the fuck? Man... I really want the African religion to get reformed. Ah, stupid AI doing stupid things, making it not possible. I don't know. It's kind of a shame. Um, but everything is as it normally would be. Except, I think at around this time, the African religion generally tends to get stomped out pretty heavily by the um, Muslims. So, I guess it's kind of surprising and somewhat impressive that they've been able to hold on as long as they have. Yeah, I'm really hoping to see this, um, this one realm. I like that color. That one realm or the, uh, these guys revert back to, um, you know, Africanism. And then, uh, take over the rest and just reform it. That'd be very awesome. And then there's the Byzantines, who are still iconoclast. 
another rare thing to see, because usually they just switch back to Orthodox, but uh, apparently not. And yeah, there's the Byzantine Revolt here. So hopefully they'll win, and then it'll be a Catholic Byzantine, um, sorry, Byzantine Empire, so we can just go to war with them over and over again. Because right now, as it stands, uh, we can't do any kind of like holy wars against them. But hopefully that will change. Wait, what are the chances of the revolt actually succeeding? The revolt is actually winning right now. They have double the uh, troops, so hopefully that'll go through. And I think that's about it. Let me just do a quick sweep with my with the religious map mode, in case you're curious. Catholicism mostly sequestered to the uh, British Isles and a little bit in here. Mm, still mostly. Uh, I guess the new school Germanism is um, starting to push through. Slavic's still a thing. Rumova's still very slightly a thing. But I'm sure it's going to get curb stomped out very soon. I'm actually kind of surprised that Suomi is still um, pretty heavily here. And then there's Tengrism, which makes sense considering it's the Horse Lord stuff. Manichaeanism, I'm surprised about. So these guys are Hindu. And the Bengal Empire is Buddhist. Yeah, I want to see these two tussle, actually. It'd be great to see them just completely rip each other apart. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see the AI actually unify all of India and then become the Ashoka. But, whoa. Wait, for Zoroastrianism still to be this prevalent? I doubt anyone's still Zoroastrian though. Oh well, that's fine. It's another cool religion to um see make it to the end. Uh, and of course, uh, Zunism is just completely kaput. Eh, that happens. And yeah, that's about it, really. Oh, cultural map mode, just in case you're curious too. Not a lot of, uh, Basca I'm peeking through, but, you know, culture tends to be a very, very slow, uh, drawn-out game. Mm, and that's kind of it. I guess the culture stuff isn't nearly as interesting as, uh, religion and whatnot. And yeah, that's about it. That, that's it. Alright, so let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow, kick the opposites in the teeth, and win, and um, hopefully we can do a great conquest with the successor for the uh, opposites, but we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!